Hey friends, quick video today on how to make a leather bracelet with the X tool. This one I put together with a magnet enclosure. My husband made one of these first and kind of tried out some settings for me, so it was perfect. And so I'm going to show you how to uh, use these magnet clasps how to size the leather cut the right way. You can totally customize it with a name, a word, a special date, symbols, initials, whatever you want. And then I'll show you how to do uh, this thing that's called a magic braid, where the two ends are connected, but you get a braid in the middle. So let's get started. I'm going to open a project that I already have saved. I measured around my wrist and got six inches. I added one inch to that, so my leather strip here is seven inches long. The width is only 0.4 inches because that's what's going to fit into the magnet clasps that I'm going to use. The slits are each two inches long and spaced evenly between the edges. The center space that I'm using to engrave is about one and a half inches wide. So you can kind of play around with uh, some of these sizings according to your wrist size. I'm going to add some text to put in the center. It adds the text up here at the top. Uh, so I just zoom out and then I'll drag it down so that it's in the view of my workspace. I'm going to switch it to engrave so that the font shows up better and gives me an idea of what it's going to look like when it is engraved. You can play with spacing settings or other things here. I'm just going to go through and try a few different uh, typefaces or fonts to see uh, what style I like the best. So when I have the font chosen, I'm going to bring it down and size it so that everything fits in this blank space. And then to make sure that it's totally centered, if you drag that back out and select all of the cut lines and hit group, and then you can select everything and go to align to do a horizontal and then a vertical align for the center. And it'll put that right in the middle of the bracelet. Since I'm using my own leather and not an X tool leather, uh, I'm gonna use auto measure. And I actually have this piece of leather set on a thin piece of plywood, and then that's raised up also. The plywood just gives a nice stable surface and to support the leather the whole time that it's being engraved and cut. Then I'll drag the bracelet design down so that it's actually on top of the piece of leather. The engraved power is going to be at 30 and the speed at 80. And then the cut setting is going to be power 100, speed 10, and just one pass. Then I can hit process, click start, and then hit the start button on the machine. It will engrave and cut, and then this is what it looks like when it's all done. I'm going to use um, lint-free cloth and some rubbing alcohol to wipe off any of this uh, smoke residue. And then here's how we do the braid. Do right over the middle, left over the middle, right over the middle again, and then put the bottom part of the bracelet up and through the space that was left on the right. It took me quite a bit of pushing and tugging and wiggling, um, but the leather is strong, so it's fine. Okay, then you're gonna do left over center, right over center, left over center, and then bring the bottom of the bracelet up through the space that's left on the left. Okay, then that flattens everything out. We're gonna do the other side. Right over middle, left over middle, right over middle. And then loop the bottom of the bracelet through the space that's on the right. Okay, then left over middle, right over middle, left over middle, 
Then bring the bottom up and loop it through the space on the left. Okay, so that actually kind of flattens everything out again. And then you can wiggle these pieces around, um, kind of space them out, pull on the ends. And if you do that a couple of times, then it evens out that whole braid. Here's the magnet clasp that I'm using. Uh, and so you can pound down the end of the leather if you need to, to get it to fit. And I just put a couple of teeny drops of super glue on the end of the leather before I put it into uh, the slot of the magnet. And then there you go. Like I said, they're totally easy to customize, and so they make great gifts. If you learned something new in this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel so you get all of my future videos too. And if you have questions about uh, making a leather bracelet like this, then leave a comment and let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.